So hello all those people out there that like mucking around with um, making hydrogen cells at home. Um, I just made a short video of uh, some of the stuff I've been mucking around with myself in the last month. Um, I'm generally too busy to be sidetracking myself but uh, it's uh, too much fun to resist really. So anyway this is uh, one of the first ones I made. Um, whacked together one night when I was really bored. And, um, and it's just using a cooking container, some stainless steel welding wire. At the moment it's just hooked up to a, a small car battery. And yeah, it seems to bubble up wonderfully. The um, oxygen should be clear from the system now, so if I light it a second time, it should uh, be a lot more reactive and louder. And it'll only get worse, of course, until the police start driving up and down the street looking for the noise. And you can put a different coil in the same container and then test that with the same electrolyte. It's a good and cheap way to do it. And yeah, it's only ever running on DC supplies. I'm just mucking around with batteries and old small transformers. And then after seeing a certain uh, Swiss master craftsman, um, I had to have a try at building one of these. It's a twin coil cell. It's in a two litre container. I must admit I went way overboard with the size of the wire. So it tends to uh, flatten my small test, one of my small test batteries really, really fast. Yes. Once the heat starts to build up just a little bit, the bubbler starts to miss a beat. There we go. 